Uh, now, whilst most plants are grown for food production, that's not always the case. Uh, well, take corn, for example, or sugarcane. They can both be turned into ethanol, ultimately, for use as a biofuel. And the plant in our next story, well, it's mostly grown for its oil content. But it's got nothing to do with biofuels. Uh, check it out. Lavender. It smells good, it looks good, and it even tastes good. But how does it grow? Well, this is the perfect place to find out. Hi, I'm Rona, and welcome to my lavender farm. Lavender isn't just one type of plant. There are more than 30 different species and hundreds of different varieties of this shrub. We plant our lavender seedlings in soil that gets plenty of sunshine all day long. For the first year, we need to pay more attention to watering during summer. Lavender plants don't need too much watering as their roots could rot and they don't need too much fertiliser. When we first plant them, we surround them with a black weed mat before we add some mulch and an irrigation system that runs off a rainwater tank. After a few months, some flowers have begun to grow, which we prune away to stimulate even more growth on the bushes. These plants are five months old and by next summer, they'll produce beautiful long flowers. Some types of lavender flower all year, but we grow commercial lavender, which flowers annually. We harvest it by hand, gathering up a handful of flowers and cutting them with a curved blade called a sickle. We bundle them up with a rubber band, which will hold them together tightly as they shrink. As soon as we harvest our fresh, fragrant lavender, we dry the flowers so that they don't degrade. We lay bunches in long rows and cover it with a tarp. This stops the sunlight breaking down the colourful chemicals and fading the flowers. It only takes a week to get rid of all the water from the cells of the plant and for the lavender to dry out completely. Once the drying stage is over, we have plenty to do with our dried lavender. First, we need to strip the flowers, which just means we separate them from the stalks. We found the best way to do this is actually a bit unusual. We spin a bicycle wheel and guide the stalks between the spokes. The flowers are brushed off and fall into the trailer below. Then we shake the flowers through a series of different size sieves to get rid of any big leaves and stalks which end up on the top and tiny seeds which fall through below. Inside each of these flowers is the beautiful lavender oil which gives it its great fragrance and useful properties. Lavender has been shown to be naturally antiseptic and antibacterial. Lots of people find that the smell of lavender helps them relax and fall asleep. We use our lavender oil in soaps, moisturisers and lip balms. When the harvest is over, we go to work to make sure that our plants are ready to produce great flowers next summer. We add a bit of lime, which makes the soil less acidic and make sure to weed the plants regularly. All this should mean our lavender will once again grow tall, colourful and fragrant flowers.